Hi hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Anomaly, but you can call me Ollie for sure. So recently I was scrolling through Tumblr and I saw this post that was like 20 new gameplay ideas for The Sims 4. Um, and I thought it was really cool because I've been kind of in a little bit of a rut recently, like not a rut. I'm having fun with The Sims 4, it's just, you know, sometimes it gets boring and sometimes uh, you don't know what to do and you're pretty much basically just kind of stuck. Cats and dogs, right? Let's talk about it. So if you've never played The Sims 3, um, the cats and dog pack was called Pets and it included horses, dogs, cats, birds, rodents, deer, I'm pretty sure raccoon like the whole shebang right and i love that pack like that was probably one of my favorite packs cats and dogs cats and dogs okay that's it right and however you want to feel or say about cats and dogs the pack i think we can all not all of us but most of us can collectively agree um on a whole that a lot of the packs in the sims 4 have lacked gameplay compared to the sims 3 equivalent right and i say this because in the sims 3 i loved my pets i love interacting with them and then in the sims 4 i just kind of forget that i have pets like <laughs> they just kind of eat sleep and poop and then your sims step in the poop and then it's just like a big nuisance so so today and i will probably do more of these when it comes to like different packs um i'm going to be doing kind of like a how to make the most out of the cats and dogs pack um so i wrote down some notes okay i am prepared i am a prepared woman okay so let's go ahead and get started with this Okay, let's go. Okay. All right, so let's talk about custom content. Now, if you don't use custom content, don't worry about this. It's totally fine because I have a lot more stuff that you can do without custom content or mods. But if you are a custom content whore like me, okay? Sorry. A really awesome way to kind of like spice up uh, your cats and dogs gameplay is getting new custom content for your pets. So this includes clothing. So maybe some new um, like jackets for your pets or collars for your pets. I do enjoy doing that just because EA's pet accessories like they get kind of boring. Okay, because you have to use them over and over again because you don't have a lot of options. Um, so definitely do kind of see if you want to um, get some pet CC. You can also get um, some service animal attire which we will totally get into um service animals later but i did see a lot of like service animal um clothing for service animal pets so you can also find a ton of pet cc on the sims resource max match cc world pretty much any um cc place or website pet beds pet bowls pet houses like dog houses we had dog houses in the sims 3 and it i just don't know why we don't have them now like i really don't but um all of that stuff especially like the dog houses it really adds a lot more realism because like a lot of dogs do sleep outside some prefer to and some owners just keep them outside so cc is pretty much the least important part i just like it because it adds more variety to um the pets kind of look now let's get into some mods so there is actually a service animal mod that i did a review on a long time ago probably a few months ago so basically you can have sims that are blind or have a mental illness or have some other disability and you can use this mod and have your pets be service animals animals and there's actually some moodlets that go along with it and like i was saying before you can dress your pets up um, in some service animal attire so that is really realistic because i do see a lot of service animals um, when i'm like out in the city or something or emotional support animals maybe stuff like that little miss sam is a wonderful mod creator and she has um, a lot of different uh mods for pets so i will link them down below there's a few different mods where you can have playable pets you can have your kids be able to walk your pets next take care of your pets okay because i know i'm guilty of this when i have a pet in the sims a dog or a cat i kind of like i said kind of forget that they exist um because they just don't do much without you having to interact with them um in some way or another so take care of your pets always do a regular checkups at the vet with your cat or your dog i never used to do this and then i like read it somewhere and i was like you know what that makes sense because 
that's pretty much what we do in real life. We take ourselves to regular checkups. We take our pets to regular checkups. Very, very realistic. All you have to do is travel with your cat or dog to a vet and then just do a, I think it's a wellness checkup or something or just a plain old checkup. And all they will do is just check up on your cat or dog. Um, and then while you are at the vet, go ahead and pick up some wellness treats from um, the vending machine. And just basically keep feeding those wellness treats to your cat or dog. Um, just take care of them like we do um, in real life. Take your dogs out to parks or even your cat, you know, place some dog parks or cat parks like down from the gallery. Um, there's a ton of them. If you just search dog park or cat park, um, it will show up. Play fetch with your dogs, train your dogs. You know, I love, I love the, um, <sighs> the like shoot dead trick or whatever on the sims 4 i just think it's so cute and like we see that all the time in real life again like people training their dogs to do crazy silly things like that's just the thing so um just take them out and spoil them really show that you care about them if you have seasons which i love creating custom holidays that might just be me but i just love it um create a national pet day so you know how we like have national cat day or national dog day or whatever create a national pet day and use this day to like i said earlier take them out to parks train them just have fun with them um buy them some little treats or toys just appreciate your pets and have an actual day for them like we do in real life again if you have seasons uh include your pets in your holidays so maybe for winter fest uh buy your dog a new chew toy or buy your cat a new cat tree or something just include them in those holidays um if you have a get together you could create like um like a dog club i don't know like plan like puppy play days even if you don't have get together you can still do um puppy play days but i just thought it was really cool for like um get together to create kind of like a dog club or something when it comes to lots definitely set up some like shelters or adoption centers so something that i did um in one of my saves was i created like a dog shelter and there was like kennels everywhere and um i made a household with one like shelter keeper um and then she had like eight dogs but those dogs weren't really hers technically um they were just up for adoption at the adoption center you could also set up like arenas or training sites and like host like competitions like oh, i'm getting so excited like host um doggy competitions or cat competitions where they have like you know like the obstacle course um from cats and dogs you could place that down um and have like competitions or you could do like trick competitions like oh which dog knows the most tricks or something i just think that's really cool and actually i have not done that yet which i definitely am going to if you have out outdoor retreat for example take your dog if it's kind of like an outdoorsy dog um out to a camping trip just you and your dog or you're simming your dog and just kind of spend some one-on-one -on -one time together um go jogging play fetch stuff like that um get famous if you have get famous okay so you know how there's like famous pets um like if you guys don't know tucker budson the like really cute golden retriever he's like super famous um you could literally i think you could probably do that like use you could use the drone from uh get famous and you could like have your drone follow your sim around um while they're like playing with the pet or something um also think that's very realistic because we see a lot of famous pets um here just because they're cute <laughs> and cute just it it makes you famous it does and i think my last tip for how to kind of increase gameplay uh realistic gameplay with cats and dogs is don't just adopt um puppies or don't just adopt dogs that look like not aesthetically pleasing um objectively there are so and this goes for cats too there are so many animals in pet shelters um that don't look aesthetically pleasing or have disabilities so like you know missing a leg or um special needs there's so many of these animals that aren't adopted just because of that just because of that stuff um so definitely do kind of uh don't just adopt those perfect pets or puppies or kittens or whatever kind of see if you can like play around with a bit maybe download some cc for disabled animals i really don't know if there would be anything like that um or you could just basically role play and have an animal with special needs um and just adopt adopt them and give them uh, a loving home because that's actually a real real big problem in today's world and 
um it just sucks so you could definitely do that through the sims well guys that is all from me i think i definitely do plan on doing um more videos like this for other packs but let me know what you guys think about these ideas um some of them i haven't even tried and i'm gonna go try right now because i'm really excited now if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave it a like and as always subscribe for more videos like these bye